Thompson's on the Welcome Back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. And look at my face. I'm so excited. It's like show and tell. I'm about to learn. We're back with Matapelo and Gakam Tati, co-founder, community director, and production manager of Monkey Biz. And earlier we spoke about art of the, the well, the actual art here is the traditional African beading that we're talking about. And it means so much to our heritage. It's a diverse nation that we live in. And uh, this work is really empowering and uh, doing so much, especially when it comes to the NPO. We heard about it in our conversation earlier, 250 beaters or something crazy like that that are being empowered by this and more. But we are going to be doing something a little bit different now. We're going to figure out how to actually do this beading thing. Now joining Matapelo to give us a beading demonstration is artist Moipane Shlalele. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks, and you? I'm fantastic. You both look absolutely incredible. Thank you. You're both doing such beautiful work. Let's dive straight into this because I know we don't have a lot of time and I'm keen to learn. So, firstly, what's going on here? What sort of beads are we actually using here? Are they specific beads? Yes, they are specific beads. Uh, this one here is 11-0. Okay. The size is smaller. Then this one is 8-0. Oh. In Monkey Bees, we're using 8-0. So, she's going to show you. She's doing an echo study. So, that's a little bit easier to work with because it's slightly bigger, right? Slightly bigger. Okay, okay. My partner, what are we doing? How do we start this thing? Um, as you can see, I don't know if we can... Uh, okay. Yeah, um, there's a, uh, a few... Um, Designs on the beads. Yeah, see that, yeah. As you can see there, the other one has a house, and the What's other this? one is a bird. Is a bird. Ah, uh, chubby there? bird. I see. Yeah. So, okay, cool. I'm sure the cameras can see that, and obviously yeah. this beautiful uh, sort of portrait, portrait representation portrait, here, which yeah. I absolutely love. This for me is showing the artistry in this. Is it a? Is it a? Ah, okay, so just so I can show the camera, because it's starting to make sense to me now. As you can see, you start off on one line, and you kind of go across, yeah. and then you move up, and then you come back. Yeah. Bead by bead, you start working it through, and I don't know if you can work and show the camera at the same time, but it's really interesting how this technique actually comes together. Pay attention to this, Mzanzi. So, you want to take me through how you weave these beads together? Okay, as you can see here, yeah, I'm studying the feet. The feet, okay, I see and that And I'm here. on a dress now. Oh, oh, that's the green part of it. Okay, you can see okay. The black one is the be is the the, the the feet. Yes. The green one is the dress. dress. Now okay. I'm going up, then. And the dress gets narrower the at the waist this as is well. A woman. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, I got you. you. See. And then what I'm doing here, I take three beads. I'll show you. I'll take I'll t I take three beads. Okay. Like this. So busy popping the beads yes, onto one by the, one. Ah, okay. And I put that? it like yeah, this yeah, yeah. in the needle. What I'm doing? I put it through the. It's like a weaving. Yes, it's like a ah. weaving. I put it through the thread and pull it. Then go back again on the other side, not from that side that I went before. And then I pull it now. You see how to tie okay, it. Okay, so you went once through, tied it into the uh, weave, and then back around it again, kind of yes. just to make sure that it yes. stays in place. Yes. And All right. That's how it is. That's and I noticed you went with like three beads at once. So you don't do one at a time in each layer. You can sometimes go three yes. up, four up, depending on the structure or the shape. Sometimes you do, you go, you use one or two or three, but I decided to take three at the moment because that's what I like. It, 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 it gets bigger quickly. Okay, I get you. Maybe so if, when it comes to advice, or so anyone that maybe wanted to start this on, the, on their own, what sort of advice do you have, and, and where should they maybe go to even try learn this? Should they just reach out to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, there are sometimes we have like a, more orders. Then I collect, I know, like um, based in Kailisha, then I go to different uh, craft market that I can, I know the people that I'm working with, if maybe have a too much order, then I'm able to share with them so that they make. And as well, this one is really uh, consuming time for doing mm. this technique. Actually, we do like a bead up bracelet. This is one when we go maybe to the workshop, we show people that one is easy to do. Okay. So this one really, I don't this think... This is really it, hard. This is very really hard. <laughs> it's time consuming, you can see. Oh, absolutely amazing. Well, ladies, I want to thank you so much. Really, you are shedding light on something that I think our entire country needs to know about. Number two, the fact that you've created this organization, Monkey Biz, it is incredible. This NPO is doing so much work. So, Mzanzi, get involved, sponsor, organize, and see how you can assist this incredible movement. They are teaching, empowering, and providing jobs, but at the same time, this is art, representing our country in one of the unique, most unique ways possible. Ladies, thank you so much, and I look forward to more of the magic that you create. Thank you so thank much. You. <laughs> thank you for having us.